Hey y'all, so here in Atlanta, there is a free in-person coding program. This program was started by Ada Developers Academy in Seattle, so check there as well. You have to be at least 21 years of age, and they do encourage women and expansive gender adults to apply. You also have to be authorized to work in the United States or be a citizen. Um, this program is full-time, Monday through Friday. They do six months of teaching you coding and then six months of internship. Up next is a new story story about it. I hope this helps you. Good luck. West Coast companies opening offices in Atlanta. Meanwhile, the push for diversity in tech continues. Liza Lucas shares how one nonprofit is expanding to the city with the help of a plan to help people pivot their careers and really change the face of the industry. It's this morning's Voices for Equality. I did not grow up with computers. I'm not a gamer. I don't play any games. A mom of two, Hob and Photo wanted to change careers, but with no tech background, coding seemed like a stretch. Yeah, no, I don't think this is, <laughs> this is for me. I can't do this. But now she works in Microsoft after training at Ada Developers Academy, a coding program for women and gender diverse adults with a focus on communities of color. We're bringing not just women into tech, but a really diverse body of women um, and gender expansive folks into tech. The program launched in Seattle in 2013 to prepare students to become software developers while advocating for a more inclusive workplace. Now, Ada is expanding to Atlanta, where there's been a 15% growth in tech jobs over the past five years, a city where Ada CEO Lauren Sato says there's opportunity for change. We were really looking for that intersection of a diverse community and high tech job growth because we knew that that was our best opportunity to have a real impact in shifting how the industry grows in the city. A change for the industry, also a life change for students. The program completely free. It being free was a big bonus for me. According to the nonprofit, nearly all Ada graduates land jobs after the program with an average starting salary of more than $100,000. Sato calls the result a win-win for the community and the industry. Economically, it's incredibly important for folks to have access to these really high paying jobs. But on the flip side of it, we also know that tech companies perform better when they have diverse tech teams. Applications for Ada's in-person instruction in Atlanta open on March 7th. You can learn a lot more on 11alive.com.